Of September, I started work at at like six in the morning, but we finished our stage uh, quite early. So around ten o'clock, I was back home in the morning, and uh, I wasn't due back until midnight. So uh, fifteen till midnight, I got to the metropolis and um, hung out with the friends until we started crew call, which is at midnight. And uh, a few minutes before we actually got the okay to go inside, um, Mr. Bang opened fire on us. So at uh, approximately midnight on the 5th of September, well, 4th of September, my friend was killed and uh, the bullet that killed him entered my hip. And uh, that same bullet sectioned off a piece of my rectum and uh, broke my coccyx. I should say, uh, exploded my coccyx. Mm -hmm. And um, so when I felt the impact of the, of the bullet that I had no idea was a bullet at the time and heard the, the loud explosion of the gun, I um, fell to the ground wondering what that was. Someone helped me inside, and um, everybody was speculating on what it could be. Mostly, uh, it was a, a, a how do we say, a, a sound grenade, just a, a flashbang without the flash, I guess. And uh, slightly after, I, I was complaining of a pain in my hip, and then uh, they pulled down the pants and saw there was a hole in my hip, and uh, that's when I realized something was wrong. But by that time, the ambulance had arrived, and they hauled me off to the hospital. Once I got to the hospital, that's when uh, I figured out that someone was dead, which was my good friend, Denis Blanchet. Um, and ever since then, I guess I've been living in a cloud, in a black cloud. I uh, wonder sometimes how I would react if I had the opportunity to be face to face with him. But uh, mainly I remain calm, knowing that he made a, a very bad decision amongst millions of bad decisions that happen every day. Unfortunately, people had to pay for his decision, which is my very close friend, Denis Blanchet, his entire family, my family and myself, suffering from a bullet wound. Financially, my life has been kind of a standstill. I'm not making enough money to, to, to put away. I'm not making enough money to, to, to keep up with the daily bills that need to be paid. Monthly, I guess, but monthly, daily. Yeah. Um, financially, it's been really rough. Emotionally, it's been rough because uh, I'm not the same man I used to be. I have a lot of pain I have to deal with, things I need to, to um, how do I say, adapt to. So that's really a bugger. You know, I'm a really athletic person. I love playing sports and I, I play 110%. Now I can barely play 50%. So it's, it's kind of a weird thing to get used to, not being able to go all out, you know. Three boys need patience. Well, with girls too, but I don't know about it. Um, I'm a lot less patient when it comes to loud noises and and uh, rambunctious activities. But um, they help me stay focused. They help me stay positive. They help me. You know, so anything to say about the kids is that thanks to them, I still want to hang around. Still want to be here.